Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's class, I am going to discuss about integration of radar pulses. Myself, B. Krishna, Assistant Professor, Department of AC. So here, let us see here, the integration of radar pulses. So what is meant by integration? So integration means, the process of summing all the radar pulses to improve the detection is known as integration of radar pulses. What we can improve here? That is the detection of the target. So based on which concept the detection is improves? Here, summing all the radar pulses. So here the radar pulses are nothing but reflected pulses. So reflected pulses from the target. So here, whenever we are transmitting the signal into the space, those signals are reaches to the target and those are reflected back to the radar receiver station. Suppose, generally, the echo signals are received at the radar receiver station having less amount of power, very, very less. So then, apart from that, you want to be able to identify the target is available or not. So in that way, you have to make all the signals, you have to combine it and integrate it. Then only we can detect the target in the space. So now we are going to discuss about this process. Okay. Here basically the process of summing all the radar pulses to improve the detection is known as integration of radar pulses. Okay. So here let us see here in this block diagram. So here, this is the antenna from radar station. It is transmitting the signal to the target, and after that, that then the target is sent to the sent the echo signal to the radar receiver station. But observe here, observe here, here two of the signals are directly from target to radar receiver station, and one more signal is it is reflected in another way, that is over the surface and reflected again. It is and hit to the building and then hit to some board and then it is referred back to the radar receiver station. This is the another way signal is quite finally it is received to the radar receiver station. So these are all the all these sum of signals we have to process it, we have to integrate it, then only we can identify the signal, we can identify the target is present in the space or not. Okay. Here. The pulse integration is an important technique to address gain in probability of detection by using multiple transmitted pulses. Okay, which one? The general ke chappal ante the target the target nun chhoche echo signals ever to ondeyo. Then the echo echo signal okay signal this one the then the power ante chala taku ga ondeyo. Transmitted power. Transmitted power means it is from target to receiver side. So our, our time low, it is unable to find the target is present or not. Based on that, analyzing these such a type of signals. Then what we can do here, whatever the signals are reflected, they are scattering in some other ways, scattering all the signals from the target. When the uh, transmitted signal is reaches to the target, then the signals are scattering here after reflecting. So all the signals are having to Receive at the radar receiver station. Some of the signals are directly transmitted, directly received at the radar receiver station, and some other signals are received in some other ways. Here, like the reflected signal here, you see one signal is going to surface and it is again reflected, and then it is go to the incident building, building, and then again it is reflected within a bird, and this signal is reflected again uh, inside the bird, and then after it is reflected back. Then go to the finally, which is to the radar association. So, the direct signals and some other signals are combinedly you have to process it in nothing but integrating. Integrating means sum, summation, summation of the all the signal to process it. Then only we can identify the target in the space. So, means it is the improving the technique, improved technique. So, let us. Let us consider the number of pulses integrated is denoted as n. How many number of pulses here received at the radar station? 
okay how many number of pulses are received at the radar receive station see nothing but it does yeah so here the number of integrated pulses depends on receiver intensity okay yes. see here let us see here in the first point now let us the scan rate of transmitter by theta s then angle scan in one second equal to three times and next one is theta b theta b nothing but gets and scan it is beam beam width of the antenna so beam width means nothing but suppose here we can draw one block here so this is nothing but a transmitter section so from this case here it is antenna here there is one target here like here one target okay so here the signal transmitting like this in this way so this is the beam here straight line and but here one more thing so this is the this antenna here the radar station and will be circulating in a 360 degrees it is moving in a 360 degrees at certain point and some other it has some time after some time the antenna will be moving upwards like this so again it is transmitting one signal in this way which is the straight line so in between or uh, in between in between these two lines like here this is the straight line here beam line here beam line in between sorry Okay, here this this antenna is going like this. Okay, here the beam is going in this way, and similarly the beam is going in this way. So this area, this area, nothing but theta b. This is the theta b beam. So that way. So here the antenna, the radar station antenna, is moving in 360 degrees. 360 degrees, it is revolving. Revelationary, revelating in a 360 degrees. Then the beam width will be changes. Okay, it, it is the it is the antenna beam width. So here then theta b angle gets scanned in theta s by theta b is seconds. So here if number of pulses in one second is given by PRF, nothing but pulse rotation frequency that is FP. Therefore. Therefore, the number of pulses returned in theta s by theta b seconds, that is n equal to theta b fp by theta s, that is in the other form theta b by theta b into fp by 6 omega r. So, where theta b is nothing but antenna beam width in degrees and theta s is nothing but antenna scan rate, that is degree per seconds, and fp nothing but pulse rate frequency, that is in h. And omega revolutionary rate that is rate per minute. This is about the number how by using this formula, how many number of pulses are received at the radar receive station. You have to calculate based on by using this formula. Let us observe here the integration process done in the radar receiver either before before the second detector or after the second detector based on this. It has two types such as one is coherent detection or pre-detection and second one is non-coherent detection or post-detection. Okay, so here first one, coherent detection, coherent detection or pre-detection. The coherent detection is a lossless but requires the phase of the echo signal be preserved in order to Combine all the signals to integration process. Here, what he says, in, in this case, the coherent detection is a lossless, lossless, but it requires phases. These phases are preserved. These phases are preserved based on this. The, all the signals are combined together and it is integrating. Then only it is to improve the detection of the target. 
So let us see in this block diagram here. So the pre-detection means he says that here the integration process done in the radar receiver either before either before the second detector or after the second detector. Before the second detector, nothing but it is coherent detection. After the second detector, nothing but it is a non-coherent detection. So here pre-detection means before the second detector. Before the second detector. So before the second detector, the coherent detection integration is processed here. Some of the all signals are coming here. Then the phase is preserved. The phase is preserved. Then the signals are like this, like this, like this, like this. So all are having equal amplitude. Those signals are processed commonly summing to the process. Nothing but it is a integration process. Then only it is transferred to the threshold level. Already you know about the threshold level. There are two directions, which are x axis and we are taking it as time and y axis we are taking it as amplitude. There are so we are establishing some levels such as nothing but threshold level and noise level. So when such a signals are received at the threshold level, those are uh, cross over the threshold, then only a target is present in the space. Okay, next. Similarly, post detection integration. So let us see here. Post detection integration or non coherent detection. Non coherent detection. The post detection integration, the phase information is destroyed. The phase information is destroyed by the second detector. Hence, the post detection integration is not concerned with the preserving RF phase. Okay. In previous case, in previous case, that is coherent detection, the phase is preserved. Based on that phase, some of the signals are integrating to process those signals to, to improve the detection of the target in this case. But in the non-coherent detection, the phase is destroyed. The phase detection or phase preserving is nothing but it is destroyed by the second detector. Hence, hence the post detection interact, uh, integration is not concerned with the preserving RF phase. So, a non coherent detection is not efficient than coherent detection. Okay, as I told you previously, so here the non coherent detection is nothing but it is after the second detector. After the second detector, it is going to integration here. Here it is going to integration and then it is transferred to the video amplifier. Then transfer to the video amplifier. Okay, right. for example. Here we can use one. Uh, we can do a, one problem here. For example, a ground wave based radar FP equal 300 Hz and beam width theta B equal to 1.5 degrees and antenna scanning rate that equal to 5 RPS. So then any the number of pulses are returned to the radar resistance that is equal to theta B FP by RS that is equal to theta B FP by 6 into omega R. So by substitute these values in this equation, we are getting n equal to 15 pulses per scan rate. Therefore, 15 pulses are returned to the radar situation based on these measurements. Thank you.